Here's an example for problems uh, 21 through 24 on your worksheet. Um, a winch at the end of a dock is 18 feet above the level of the deck of a boat. A rope attached to the deck is being hauled in by the winch at a rate of 2 feet per second. How fast is the boat being pulled towards the dock when 24 feet of rope are out? So let's take a look at this. So I drew a sketch over here. Now your sketch doesn't have to be as elaborate. Okay, so here's my, my winch. This, this is the dock. Okay, and the winch is 18 feet up high, and it's going to be level with the top of the boat. So I have a nice right triangle here. Uh, this is going to be as the, boat's, as the rope is being pulled in, uh, the boat is going to be moving towards the dock. So the rate at which is moving towards the dock, it would be, this distance would be x between the boat and the dock. So the rate would be dx dt. And as the rope, this is r, which represents the length of the rope at any time. As we roll this in, this would be dr dt. So this is a good geometric model of what's going on. Now we, we can model it mathematically by using the Pythagorean theorem. But first of all, let's write down the information we've got. So they tell us that we, we got the 18 feet for the height of the winch. Um, the rope is being hauled in, so that would be the change of the rope. So dr dt. Okay, so the RDT is going to be um, 2 feet per second. So that's DRDT. And um, we want to find out how fast the boat is being towards the dock, so that's going to be DXDT, so that's what we're looking for, DXDT. What is that equal to, DXDT? Uh, when 24 feet of rope were out, so when R equals 24. Let's see what we've got here now. Okay. So again, we have our Pythagorean relationship, so we can model this mathematically. We can say that 18 squared plus x squared equals R squared. And then we can take our derivative. That's going to be 0, so we got 2x dx dt equals 2r dr dt. We've done enough of these so you know what's going on here. And we're going to be looking for dx dt, so we'll just divide both sides by 2x. So we got dx dt equals 2r dr dt, which that's a 2 divided by 2x. So again, dx dt equals r over x dr dt. Okay. And then we can just put our, our data in. dx dt equals and then r is 24, so we can put that in. 24 feet. X feet we don't know, so I have to use a right triangle for that. And dr dt is going to be 2 feet per second. All right. And we have to find out what x is. So again, we know these numbers are going to always be in this Pythagorean relationship, so we'll draw another right triangle over here. And this is always 18, and this is going to be, at this moment, this is going to be 24. And we want to figure out what x is. All right. Hmm. All right, so we use our Pythagorean theorem because it's a right triangle. x squared plus 18 squared equals 24 squared. And what's 18 squared? I don't have my calculator. I should use a calculator just to kind of figure out some of these, just to play it safe, save you some time. But I can do it over here. I can just do 18 times 18. I'm not too sure. I, that's 64. Here's 6. 
8, 14, and then another 18. So that's 324. And 24 times 24, I think it's 576. Just to double check it, 24 times 24. Uh, 4 times 24 is, I know that's 96, and 48. And that's 576. Okay. That's not bad to be able to do that, just in case you don't have a calculator. So x squared equals, and if I take 576 minus 324, I get 2... Five and two fifty two. So x equals the square root of two fifty two. Well, we know that if we add two plus five plus two, we get nine. So we know that that's going to be divisible by at least nine. So we can break this down. So x equals the square root of 9 times, and 9 goes into 25 twice, that's 18. And the number remainder is 7, and 9 goes into 72 8 times. So the square root of 9 is 4, so x equals, I'm sorry, square root of 9 is 3, so 3 times the square root of 27 is the same thing as 28, I'm sorry, 28 is the same thing as 4 times 7. And the square root of 4 is 2, so x equals, if we bring the 2 out, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times the square root of 7. So all that for 6 times the square root of 7, but you can do it. No calculator. And then that's going to end up equaling, so we can say that dx dt, that equals, uh, so dx dt equals, and these are going to both be in feet, so they'll kind of, Cancel each other out. So we still have feet per second. Six goes in there four times. Four times two is eight. So we've got eight over the square root of seven. Feet per second. Okay. No calculator. Try them without a calculator. I know you guys sometimes don't like to do all that work, but then double check your arithmetic. Make sure you can do all this stuff. Okay. Not too bad.